For all updates on cat prep, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now let us understand the seventh property which is change of base and that is when we have say some logarithm log of b with base a right so where b is the argument a is the base and if we want to change the base itself right in some question we need to change the base then we can write it as log of b with some base c which we want this is the base which we want right we want that everything should be changed in base c then this thing can be written as log of b with base c divided by log of a with base c again this is very easy to uh, easy to prove so let us see that log of b with base a if i assume it to be x then we know that this argument b would be equal to what it will be a to the power x correct now let us take logarithm both the side with base c because that is the base which we want to so we can write that let me write it here that b is equal to a to the power x taking log both the side with base c so it will be log of b with base c and here it will be log of a to the power x with base c again taking the property this x will come down uh, on the front and will get multiplied so we can write it as log of b with base c is equal to x into log of a with base c correct now x can be written as log of b with base c divided by log of a with base c now what is x x is nothing but this thing which we can see the lhs so lhs is equal to rhs which is log of b with base c and log of a with base c. So this is the change of base. We use this property whenever we require the uh, expression to be simplified in some other base. Correct? Now let's move to the next. Now let us discuss the eighth property which is the reciprocal property. And that says that when we have been given say log of b with base a, but in some question we want that the uh, logarithm should convert into base b rather than in base a. Right? That is the argument should become the base and base would become the argument then this is equal to 1 upon log of a with base b right so just note that here the argument was b and base was a here the argument becomes a and the base becomes b right so this is the relation if you want then you can take the reciprocal now let us again prove it so it is log of b with base a and let us assume it to be x then we know that the value of b would be a to the power x now let us take logarithm both the side with base b so in that case it will be log of b with base b and here it will be log of a to the power x with base b now this will become 1 right because same base and same argument the value is 1 so here we can see that this thing will be equal to 1 again we can take the property and this x will go here in a multiplication so we can write it as x log of a with base b is equal to 1 or we can say that the value of x is 1 upon log of a with base b right and we assume that the log of uh, we assume the, the value of x to be the LHS and this is nothing but the RHS both are same and hence this property holds right now let's move to the next property now let us discuss the ninth property we say that a to the power log of x with base a is always equal to x now this is very simple to understand and uh, let me prove it for you a to the power log of x with base a is equal to k right we have to just prove that whether k is equal to x or not this is what we have to prove right now let me take log both the side with base a then uh, this this is the power of a right so if i take the log both the side with base a then this is the argument this will become the argument and this much portion will be the power of it and this is equal to log of k with base a and we know that this will go here and will multiply with logarithm part so it will be log of x with base a that is multiplied with log of a with base a is equal to log of k with base a this is one right so we can ignore it now here again log of x with base a is equal to log of k with base a now if the base is same then the arguments will also be same that means the value of x will be equal to k or we can say that this is the uh, th this is what we need to prove so always remember that sometimes such complicated way the logarithms are done so we can directly apply the uh, property and we can write this entire expression as the value of x Always remember that the base in both the case has to be same, right? This will help you in remembering the thing, right? So this is all about the properties of logarithm.